Hello everyone, it's Mike from Inside the Magic, and this is episode 3 of Inside Disneyland Resort. The new ongoing show where we just kind of walk around the parks here in Southern California, take a look at what's new, what's changing, and anything notable going on around Disneyland Resort. I'm here at the Disneyland Hotel, just because we haven't uh, visited the hotel yet during this series. Nothing really big happening right now, but I just wanted to kind of show off how nice the hotel looks these days. Uh, this is the original Disneyland Hotel there past those trees. It's now called the Adventure Tower. And then you had the Fantasy Tower behind me here. And the Frontier Tower over there added later on. And now you have this uh, very nice pool with a slide back there for the kids that looks like the Disneyland monorail which is very cool I've never been on that slide but I would like to someday and these nice uh, topiaries with Pluto Mickey and Minnie greeting guests as they exit the hotel and head that way past the big Mickey sorcerer hat going to the parks, which is where we're going to head next. So here's something I came across just walking through the downtown Disney district here at Disneyland Resort. The new Disney dress shop is now open here in the shopping area. It used to be over there. Now it's over here where Anna and Elsa's boutique was a little while ago. Then it was the Disney Dream Boutique, I think. Let's take a look around inside here. So a lot of very cool Disney themed dresses as you would expect. Here's one that looks like uh, some Adventureland Tiki Room type stuff and Tiki Birds. Main Street Town Square theme, I like that one a lot. Carousel horses on there. And Monsters, Inc. for Pixar Fest. Pretty cool, and I'm sure they're very popular. Let's keep moving on. It's kind of cool, Woody and Buzz meeting with guests right now for Pixar Fest in the Pixar Pals area while You've Got a Friend in Me plays the Pixar Harmonic Orchestra here. Okay, so this is something I kind of forgot to mention. In the last episode when we did uh, Pixar Fest, is that if you come here to the back corner of Disney California Adventure by Paradise Gardens, there's this annual pass holder area where you can uh, do this fun photo op over here holding these uh, signs, or you can pick up a free sticker. For the first couple weeks it was Toy Story, and now you've got Monsters, Inc. I'm told there are new stickers every two weeks. You can also write a message on these cards and put them us, into us the table over there. this box. Share your friendship, write a thoughtful note, or draw a picture for someone who may need a friend. Add it to our buddy's bank to brighten someone's day. And people have done that. A lot of colorful balls inside there. So that's a fun perk for being an annual pass holder here at Disneyland Resort. Okay, here's kind of an alternate view of 
Paradise Bay and the construction area for Pixar Pier over here on the right. But I always like when they lower the water a little bit and raise up this platform and you can see this city made up of fountains for World of Color. Look how many pipes and just all these little gadgets that make World of Color work. It's really fascinating. One time uh, for a media event here they handed me an iPad and let me control World of Color for like 30 seconds. It was amazing. And I'm standing here underneath the silly symphony swings. You can hear them starting above me. But uh, I wanted to mention a couple things. Right there, that's Mickey's Fun Wheel, currently uh, covered in scaffolding. But this week they just announced that it's going to be renamed for Pixar Pier. The new name is Pixar Pal Around, which I don't know how you feel about that name, but I'm not 100% sold on that yet. Uh, we'll see, maybe it'll grow on me. And then behind it there you've got the soon-to-be Increda coaster still under construction. And I'm told that they were testing it earlier this week, but I haven't seen it running since I've been here. There's uh, one of the tunnels that they've lengthened to uh, give kind of the, the dark the dark ride experience of uh, a few seconds in those tunnels make that a little bit longer. They're going to be uh, statues of the Incredibles characters inside there, uh, kind of acting out the story of the ride. So uh, yeah, Pixar Pier is still coming along, still a couple months to go. We'll keep you posted on that. Let's move along. And here from the other side, we can see the Pixar Pier logo in the loop of the Incredible Coaster in all its glory. If you remember last time, this had just been, the outline had just been sketched out and then they had started to fill in the colors and now it looks like it is pretty much finished. And I gotta say, I find it very attractive. I think, I think it's very nice. I think they did a great job. We'll see how the rest of Pixar Pier shapes up and fits in with this, the color scheme of that as uh, construction continues here at DCA. Here's some more progress on Pixar Pier. You've got the abominable slash adorable snowman sign up here for the frozen treat stand has been painted in. Last time I looked at this it was uh, they were painting over the previous sign for the ice cream shop that was here so that's coming along too. And check this out some of the construction walls and tarps have been taken down around Toy Story Midway Mania revealing the new red, white and almost kind of teal color scheme which I like a lot for the show building here the entrance queue building at least. And then you got the Pixar Pier logo right behind it again in all its glory. Pretty much finished. Again, looking very nice. So this is really cool. Inside the Nick Snacks store here at Pixar Pier, Disney artists have been drawing Pixar characters in celebration of Pixar Fest. And this is uh, Wall-E coming along. Hi, how are you? Looking good. Here's a, a variety of Pixar art on the wall. When I first came in here, this there was just like a mannequin in this space. And then uh, either the official opening day of Pixar Fest or a little bit later, they started doing these drawings. But I really like this store, as I mentioned last time. So here's something I didn't mention last time because I actually didn't come through here when I first visited Pixar Fest, but here in Cars Land, they've made a, a few minor but fun changes for Pixar Fest. They've put up these posters. They're kind of parodies of different Pixar movies now set in the world of Cars. 
and uh, I've got an individual video up of that with more detail as well. And then over here, by the entrance, there's this photo op with Woody and Buzz cars. Again, there's uh, an individual video here on our YouTube channel with these uh, few changes that they made to Cars Land for Pixar Fest, and I'll put the link to that in the description. So here's the big new thing that's happening today. As I'm shooting this, it's Friday, April 27th, the release date of Avengers Infinity War, and in celebration, Disneyland Resort, and specifically Disney California Adventure, theme park has expanded its Marvel superheroes meet and greet area. Here's Captain America with this giant new shield embedded in the pavement behind him in the sidewalk, signing some autographs, posing for photos with fans. So this is really cool looking and possibly a hint at things to come as Disney California Adventure readies to add an entire Marvel superhero themed land. And for good measure, here's Spider-Man meeting in his usual spot where previously he had actually had a dual meet and greet with Captain America who's now moved across the street right over there. And here we are at Disneyland, the original Disneyland where Dumbo the Flying Elephant has reopened after a lengthy refurbishment and construction of this all new canopied queue area. Look at this, you don't have to stand in the sun while waiting for Dumbo, the flying elephant. New signage up there, very nice looking. And then we're gonna poke our heads in here a little bit. There's these nice uh, hanging light strands next to the waterfall over here. Look at all this. This is beautiful. So much better. Such an improvement. And there's these new posters as well along the back wall next to the organ over there. Let's take a look at some of these posters. You got Dumbo's Circus with Laughs and Thrills. Mike Nivri Production. I'm, I'm sure that's a reference to somebody who works possibly at Imagineering, right? And going down, we've got some more posters down that way. Horses and circus animals of all stripes. It's all kind of like you're in a circus tent through this queue here. Oh. It actually looks like there are more people waiting in this line than usual. Possibly because it just reopened. And possibly because you don't have to bake in the sun anymore, which is so nice. It's such a, a, a nice change here at Disneyland. Here's the new exit sign. looking and you've got uh, Dumbo the Flying Elephant supervised children at all times there he is and a uh, new wait time sign over here which is not displaying a number at the moment I'm sure it will eventually but yeah nice to have Dumbo back it really ties fantasy land together here, as the dude might say. Dumbo's about to start. Let's let's watch him take off before we move along. Alright, now I'm here in New Orleans Square at Disneyland right in front of the entrance to Pirates of the Caribbean, which is, as you may know, currently under a five-week refurbishment as they remove one of the most famous scenes from the ride, 
the bride auction scene and replace it with a more palatable uh, generic goods auction, I guess you would call it, and change the famous redhead character into a pirate. And I was here this past Sunday night, which was the final night of the ride in its current state, or I should say its former state, and got some video just for archival purposes for our YouTube and uh, to compare and contrast when the new version opens up. It's a very controversial move. Uh, some people are very angry about it. Some people are very happy about it. I think uh, it's possible to be on both sides of this debate. I regret having to lose a part of theme park history that's been here in Disneyland for over 50 years. But I also understand that times change, attitudes change, and theme parks are constantly changing. You know, I, I think there's a good argument to be made that you wouldn't go back and alter a scene or take out a scene from an old movie that doesn't uh, suit your tastes anymore, or I hope you wouldn't. But. You can also acknowledge that theme parks are not movies, that movies are a static uh, representation of the time period in which they were released, and theme parks are constantly evolving. You know, the, the Disneyland that you and I know and love is likely not the Disneyland that first opened in 1955. Uh, even within the first like 10 to 15 years, it went under uh, underwent a radical transformation. And even you know, Pirates of the Caribbean didn't open until the late 60s. So if you uh, you know if you don't want theme parks to change, you don't get Pirates of the Caribbean in the first place. So I think uh, as a Disneyland enthusiast, I've learned to accept the idea that something is changing kind of roll with it and embrace the idea that progression is happening in our attitudes and in our morals and, and knowing that the reasons people want this to change are for the best. And just kind of crossing my fingers that I like the new scene when it opens up in I guess just like a month and a half from now. So we'll see, we'll keep you posted on that as well and as soon as it reopens we'll have video of the new scene from Pirates of the Caribbean. And though Pirates of the Caribbean is not open today, we do have Jack Sparrow, Captain Jack Sparrow, meeting and chatting and taking photos and signing autographs for guests. And then the last thing I wanted to show you today I can't show you because it's sold out resort-wide. That alien popcorn bucket that just came out this week that's an annual pass holder exclusive should be uh, for sale right here at this popcorn stand, but it's not. So that's going to have to be a, a next time thing, uh, if they have it again next time. I'll show you the sign for it. You can see right here, it's it annual pass holder exclusive popcorn bucket for $20 but they don't have them right now we're gonna check back on that next time around but uh, for now thanks so much for watching this is Mike Celestino from Inside the Magic here at Disneyland Resort in Anaheim California and a nice sunny Friday afternoon. Coming up next time, there's uh, some new Star Wars events happening. Uh, for Disneyland After Dark, we got Star Wars Night, and there, there are uh, new meet and greets, a new March of the First Order coming for that. And then, eventually, we'll have Pixar Pier here at Disneyland. But as for today, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you again for watching. This is Mike. 
See you real soon.